I think the Congress is a wonderful initiative uh, because every opportunity that we have to bring together the, the FM community and particularly where we can share in this case between a, a fairly mature European market and a fairly immature Latin American market, this is of huge advantage to both parties. So the Congress uh, so far I think is delivering real value and uh, hopefully the, the delegates will agree uh, and I'm sure we'll find out in due course. In the UK facilities management is very mature. Uh, the UK along with a couple of other European countries has probably been involved in developing it as a professional discipline longer than, than most other countries. So we have, a, we have a sector now that is maturing all the time. We are connected from government, through corporate organisations, through uh, education. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a sector that is now recognising a difference between facilities management and facilities services. Because in the early days of facilities management evolving, everybody was a facilities manager overnight and most of us realise that's not actually the case. So we have a, a very mature situation now where the service providers recognise their role, but it's a different role in terms of the management of delivering those services. And that is a model, I think, for other countries to follow. Yeah, my, probably my involvement in the sector is threefold. Um, I have been involved in the development of the discipline as a professional discipline for over 20 years and I continue to be involved in things like conferences where uh, what knowledge and experience you have you can share with others. Um, I'm still involved in uh, the development of standards and facilities management and currently the chairman of the ISO facilities management committee. So we're trying to establish criteria that will benefit the whole of the world. The second role I have is in my company. Uh, we do a lot of consulting and auditing and strategic advice to organizations large and small. And we have always done that all over the world. So I, I do tend to travel quite a lot uh, in terms of servicing some of our corporate clients, including Latin America. Uh, recently in Mexico and Brazil, uh, as well as Europe, Eastern Europe, Middle East and Asia. Uh, the third thing I do is, as a company, uh, Key Facilities Management talks about it in consulting, but it does it in operations. So we have a, an operations delivery business where we work with corporate clients who decide outsourcing is the right thing for them, and we take full responsibility for delivering their day-to-day -day activities and today we do that in 21 countries so personally I have to on occasions visit some of those locations visit my client as well as trying to undertake consulting in between